Welcome to this TATV Spotlight program where we're going to focus on the critical topic of onboard communications and connectivity. This technology is becoming a must have for business jet operators worldwide, as well as a host of other users in the commercial, the defense and the government worlds. And I'm delighted to welcome an expert in this field, Dave Falberg of SATCOM Direct International. Dave is the Vice President of SATCOM Direct, which is a leader in global satellite communications solutions. So welcome, Dave. Now tell us, tell us what you've been doing, because I believe in the last year, SATCOM has really been developing your products in this area. And tell us why that is important to you and to your customers, of course. Yeah, well, um, thanks for having me on. Um, so we've already established ourselves as the leader in the field in terms of delivering you know, complex and customized connectivity solutions through to government, military and business aviation aircraft worldwide. But as part of that portfolio, what we've been looking at this year um, in, in line with everything else is the delivery of our new plain simple terminal set, which started with the delivery of our plain simple KU terminal at the beginning of this year. The reason why that's really important for us is it enables us or has enabled us to have an even deeper integration into the networks because we've actually designed this antenna with KEST, our partner, uh, with Intelsat themselves. And because of that deep level of integration, it gives us far greater data sets. It gives us far greater insight and information. And from a troubleshooting and from a support standpoint, it really does set us apart from other solutions that are out there in the market. And just tell me how, you know, why have you done this in terms of customer requirements, Dave? How, has those, how have those changed and, they've, and then you've responded? Well, I think over the, certainly over the past five years, even not before, since real high-speed data solutions have become available on business aircraft, there's been a real requirement for that consistency and reliable service to be delivered wherever they are. And so this type of development is off the back of that. We, we saw an opportunity where we could do things like the integration with the network, providing far deeper, deeper data sets um, for us to be able to use for our support and troubleshooting, which is paramount for us in terms of customer experience. But we also saw an opportunity where we could simplify the installation. So the design of the plain simple antenna, the SKU, is only a two unit system, two LRU system, which means that it's far less complex to install, meaning that time taken to install and downtime for aircraft is much less. And the way in which it's been designed is agnostic. And, and that means that we're able to do things like future proof the technology and make simple um, upgrade paths to other technologies really simple for our customers in the future, protecting their investment now. And they're all things which have come up in conversation over the years as requirements for our customers. So we've really listened and um, taking that back to the drawing board and come back with this solution, which is designed from the ground up to be a business aviation solution. Um, this, this PSKU solution that we've developed, um, we released at the beginning of the year. We've now over 10,000 hours of transmitted data across those antennas, which has been a real testament to, you know, it's uh, out of the gate, it's reliability and it's performance across the network. Next in line is our PSKA um, terminal, which is going through in-flight validation as we speak. And that's being developed in, um, in partnership with Viasat and for use on the Global Express network. And so we're looking for that to be released um, uh, towards the beginning of 2024 for commercial release. And again, that uses the same blueprint, the same footprint, the same ethos as we've designed into the PSKU. So it, from the ground up, it's built for purpose to deliver for business aviation customers. We now have around 100 fielded units out there, which are either in the process of being installed or are out there flying currently at the moment. So we've taken massive steps in our first year of commercial availability with Plain Simple KU. Yes. And that's a nice segue there, Dave, because you mentioned, obviously, your Dubai operation. And at TATV, we always focus, of course, on the Middle East, the Africa markets. Just bring us up to date with you know, how important and how significant those have become for SATCOM. Oh, absolutely. The investment that we've made in the region has continued over the uh, nearly 12 years since we started the office out there. We've invested heavily in our infrastructure there. Our customer base over there has been really strong, um, particularly through the last um, five years. The growth there has been really driven by um, the uh, 
growth in technology and the and not just in terms of the satcom technology but the growing requirement for connectivity to be available particularly on these um, high net worth individual aircraft the expectation that connectivity is there it works the number of customers that we're seeing is continuing to grow and the expectations around those customers is continuing to increase so that continues to keep us on our toes and it continues to make us drive and invest in the technologies such as the plain simple antenna series such as our st pro online uh, platform which is our window into the aircraft which makes um, utilizing the data which is being pulled off the aircraft easy to use uh, for our customers that's very interesting dave thank you very much for that, for that update as you've described connectivity is a critical tool for many aviation users and will only increase in that in its importance thank you for sharing how SATCOM is playing its part in making it happen.